Okay, let's bring you for a little bit of dose of common sense is musician, legendary rocker, outdoorsman, friend of mine, and by the way, one of the most patient people on the planet because we made this poor guy wait 20 minutes to get this thing going. Ted Nugent, really good to have you. My friend, on the West Coast, we saw the Golden Gate Bridge stop by the nut jobs, the lunatics, the anti-Israel people stopping traffic. On the East Coast, you had the George Washington Bridge, same thing. Ted, in Chicago, they stopped people from getting to O'Hare Airport. However, in the great free state of Florida, they grabbed them, the cops grabbed them, and pulled them off the roadway and slammed them in the slammer, Ted. The, you couldn't get a better, better example of the difference between red states and blue states, my friend. Well, the Democrats have a dream, and it includes feces and needles and uh, people who believe in terrorism and uh, rape and pillaging. We saw it on October 7th. That's what these people are celebrating. So we have to know that the First Amendment is really, really important so we can see what demons are up to. They, they aren't afraid to show themselves. What we're witnessing here is abject soullessness, just cruelty and evil and rotten to the core. These people are obviously guilty of spiritual inbreeding and cannibalism. But I got to tell you, we the people in Texas meet with our sheriff and our chief of police and our state trooper commander. I was just training again today. We just like to shoot because aim small, miss small, martial arts discipline is good for the soul no matter what, just competition and plinking. But never has firearms knowledge and capability been more important when you know that these people are for death and mayhem. How long Wonderful, is it? Number one, thank you for having me on because your truth, logic, and common sense is my truth, logic, and common sense, and it's alive and well in red states, in Republican-run jurisdictions where crime is stopped. We just we won't let that happen here in McLennan County, Texas. We have warriors, fire breathers in law enforcement and just my ranching buddies, my hunting buddies, the music store guy, the guy at the granary. Uh, that's not going to happen in Texas, Eric, I promise you. I'm your truth, logic, and common sense daddy, as are you. And uh, <laughs> it was your daddy um, in Texas and Florida a couple months ago, a couple weeks ago. I'm sorry. We had a sheriff on who said, listen, in the state of Florida, you know, you, you, the, to the homeowner, to the homeowners, you said, shoot them. If they come into your door, you're allowed to do that in, in the state of Florida. But do me, do us all a favor. Take some lessons. So you shoot them and you kill them so we don't have to stick them in a jail cell and spend our money, your taxpayer dollars, feeding and lodging these people behind bars for eternity. We got to love that, Ted. I've always said, you know, we're witnessing uh, engineered recidivism, engineered violent crime explosion numbers. Uh, this is intentional by the Democrats, by the Joe Biden snake devil gang. And I got to tell you, aim small, miss small is not just good for recreation and just training, but self-defense is more important than ever. I got to tell you, if the guitar player can have meetings with all my elected employees and all my law enforcement employees, they work for me. They take an oath to the Constitution. They work for we the people. And they're all on we the people constitutional side here in McLennan County, Texas. So, Eric, I implore everybody out there you've got to have a relationship a communication a regular communication with your law enforcement and your elected employees to let them know that you won't let this happen we won't let the perverted drag queeners in mclennan county we're just not going to let it happen we know our school board we're not going to let child molestation and pornography in our schools we're not going to let People come into mom and pop businesses and fill duffel bags full of merchandise and run out. I yeah. really believe that. Well, everybody believes that that we won't allow repeat offenders. We want dead offenders. We are in fear for our life with this kind of violate, violent protest. Apparently, Ted. So we're ready to take care of it.